Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Helena. My daughter's Layla. She's over there playing with her toys in her bumbo seat. So if you hear some uh, noises, that will be her. And I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. Hi. Woo, woo, ah. All right guys, so today's video is going to be what's in my diaper bag. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and take everything out and show you guys what I keep in my diaper bag. So uh, let's get started. So first things first, my diaper bag is the baby Catan one. I got it in green. Someone got this for me at my baby shower and I love it. It has so much space. Really with a diaper bag, you don't wanna have just a bag with no pockets or any places to put anything. So this is like the perfect diaper bag because there's like a million different pockets, a million different zippers, and let's just get on into it. So first things first, I'm just gonna show you what this diaper bag has. So on the side, you get a little area where you can put your wipes, and I don't really use this, honestly. I was pretty excited about it when I first got the diaper bag, but I never really used it because I just don't fill this little plastic thing up. There might be some wipes in here. Yeah, some old dried wipes that I never used. But I don't really fill this thing up. I just carry a pack of wipes around. Because, I don't know, I just think that's easier than opening a whole big thick pack of wipes, taking some out and putting them in there. Because obviously it's a small container. But that is besides the point. So, yeah, so you get this side little pou pouch for your wipes. I can't speak. Um... Then you get a little zipper pouch here, which has a little water resistant pouch area. So you can put wet things in there, I guess, you know, swimsuits, wet clothes, anything like that. I haven't really used that much. I do carry around like a little plastic uh, Ziploc bag that I put things in if they're dirty or wet or anything like that. Right, little girly? And then in the back here, there's this little magnet part and this is where I keep the three things that I have for myself. Um, all right, so in here I keep my sunglasses, my wallet, and my keys, and that's literally the only things that I bring for myself. The rest is filled with stuff for Layla. <laughs> so for starters, obviously it's a diaper bag, so we have diapers in the diaper bag. I have, I normally keep like five or six just regular diapers in here. So these are the diapers we're using right now. These are Hello Bello diapers. They're working pretty good. I haven't had too much of issues with really any diapers, so anything works. Then since it's summertime, I also keep a swim diaper in there just in case we end up somewhere where we want to go swimming. And you're just staring at me, aren't you? You're just staring. <laughs> She's just like mesmerized by me sitting over here and talking to nothing. She's probably like, who's my crazy mommy talking to? Oh, oh my God, I didn't even know this was in here. A little newborn diaper. Do you remember these, the newborn diapers? Yeah, there's a newborn diaper in here, which she obviously doesn't use anymore. This probably wouldn't even fit around your leg because you got a big chunky leg. So no, we're in size, these are size two diapers. So newborn diapers are no go for us. I don't think we'll fit into those anymore. As for wipes, I keep a pack of wipes. This one's like almost done. These are just parents' choice. Uh, these are, what are they? Oh, these are the regular wipes. Yeah, these are the ones that I don't really like. I'm just trying to get rid of these because I got a whole big box of them. Um, these are just the parents' choice regular ones, but the parents' choice sensitive ones with aloe, I think it is. Those are way better quality and I'm pretty sure they're the same price. I keep a little pack of antibacterial wipes for when I, when we're out and I'm using a changing table that is obviously public, a public changing table. Um, I wipe it down with this first because those are nasty. Okay, so I wipe it down with that. And then I also keep a pack of pacifier wipes for when she drops her pacifier or when we drop her pacifier, then these are easy because all the ingredients in them are um, food grade. So you can 
clean off the pacifier with it and it can go right into her mouth rather than obviously you shouldn't use like normal baby wipes or any other wipes than just the food grade ones or of course you can go and rinse it off and do that but it's obviously easier to have a, a pack of wipes to take with us for that so the next thing is this bag came with a changing pad which i love it just opens up like this and it's um, water resistant and antibacterial which is nice so it doesn't really get dirty and if it does i can wipe it down real easily so that just goes like this slide it back in so let's get into we'll talk about the side pouch now what i keep in there so there's a little side pouch inside the bag right in here and what i keep in there is her thermometer the one that just goes right up to her forehead so you can get her temperature i keep that in there just in case we're out and she's getting a temperature which hasn't happened yet but it could and it probably will so i keep this on hand then i also keep her uh, diaper rash cream this is the butt paste and obviously we use this when she has a diaper but she has not had a diaper rash yet so we're four months in no diaper rash yet knock on wood then i also keep a teething ring in there which she hasn't been super into teething rings yet but she'll kind of suck on them for like a minute or, or two and throw them on the ground and in this pocket i also keep like a couple bows i don't I, I, well i mean for the bows when she was first born she wore bows all the time and i was just like obsessed with putting bows on her uh, four months in now, I don't really put bows on her too much. If she's in a cute outfit and we're going out, then I'll put a bow on her. But obviously, if we're just hanging around the house, there's no reason for her to have a bow on her head that's just probably bothering her. But I do keep these bows in there for if I want to dress up her little outfits. I keep, obviously, burp claws because we go through them. So normally in her car seat, she has one that I put like under her legs. So if I need to get to it really quickly, then I just use that one. But then I normally keep about two burp claws in the bag because burp claws tend to get really wet and dirty easily. So um, some clean burp claws is always necessary. Then I keep a uh, muslin swaddle blanket in there because this is pretty much what she uses as a blanket right now in the summertime. It is still hot, it's cooling down, but it is still hot. And um, so when she goes in her car seat, normally I put one of these on her legs to keep her cool in the air conditioning. And she actually, now that she's four months, she's actually getting a lot more interested in toys and things, which she's playing with her toys over there. But I like to bring something with us to entertain her if she's a little antsy. So, I normally bring this little doodle rattle thing, and she likes this because now she's holding things, so I put it in her hand and she likes to, you know, shake it around and stuff. So, I didn't even keep this in the bag, but normally when we go places, I bring this little rattle thing. She's looking at it and she's like, give me it! It's like a little Carter stroller toy. I bring this and she likes to play with that too. And then also inside the bag, there is, if I can get to it, what? Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you talking to me? So inside the bag, there is this little uh, keychain with a little pacifier pouch attached to it. So I normally keep like two or three extra binkies in there just in case, because you never know when you're going to have a binky mishap. Uh, my mom's dog likes to eat our binkies. Once she she chews those apart and then those are obviously no good so some backup binkies are always a good idea and so she is bottle fed so I always have to have formula on hand when we go out somewhere um, I got these little these are munchkin brand um, formula little dispensers and this one has three little parts so you can fill it up for three feeds and then this is just a single feed one this one actually has formula in it but these are a lifesaver. I always fill them up before I leave the house. And then we're pretty set for a while if all four of these are filled up, four feeds. Um, so those are the best. I order those. I definitely highly recommend those if you're formula feeding because it's just so much easier to have it all portioned out and then you can just 
click it into the into the bottle so she is drooling like crazy nowadays and I swear we go through like five or five hundred bibs a day um, so I have two bibs in here probably better off having like five in here because she just really dirties them up like immediately as soon as soon as they're on her there's just covered in spit um, so bibs are definitely a must-have for us and I started off with normal bibs but now I've come to realize that I can only really use the waterproof bibs because just normal cloth bibs don't even stand a chance with this little girly so then of course you need two or three or however many you want to pack extra outfits I have two in here right now these are just onesies I pretty much always use this because if if she drools too much it'll get all over her outfit or if she spits up and it gets on her outfit or if she blows out of her diaper and it gets on her outfit then you need more outfits of course which is a no-brainer so those are just two onesies and then I also like to keep a footie in there just in case it's chilly or something like that so we got this one which is so freaking cute obviously this goes along with the formula you're gonna need a clean bottle so here's a clean bottle she used the she uses the Avent bottles so this is pretty much what I always bring with us and then oh well one more thing for me is some Advil because I always have a headache and ladies oh okay here we go all right so like I was saying I bring some Advil with me because I tend to get headaches and it's just the worst if I don't have any Advil to fix that little issue so I normally bring Advil with me wherever I go so well obviously since she's formula fed she needs water to go with her formula so I normally have a uh, water bottle in this little side pouch which is meant for water bottles so that little if I can get it back in that little water bottle goes in there and the very last thing I was gonna say was uh, there is a pouch in here which is awesome if your kids are um, if your kids are already eating food then there is or breastfed and you're bringing bottles and you need to keep your milk cold. Um, there is like a little refrigerator pack in here and it's lined. So let me see if I can show you guys. See, it has like a little silver lining in there and you can keep breast milk or like purees or baby food or whatever you need that needs to like stay cool. Then that can go into that little pouch. So I really love this diaper bag. I think, um, it's definitely really practical for all the things that I need to have on hand, like, all the time. Um, so, yeah, I would give it a, a 10 out of 10 for the diaper bag. I wouldn't have uh, picked any other one at this point. So, I think that's about it for this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel and like it down below. Um, thank you for watching, and bye. My tonka mo, my tonka mo, my tonky tonky tonka mo, go tonka mo, go tonka mo. Oh, are you spitting up? Did everybody see your spit up? Is that what everyone was seeing for the past few minutes? Thank you, girl. Mwah. 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 You're so stinky and cute. <laughs>